Well, it wouldn't be Thanksgiving here in Western Massachusetts without some high school football. And 22 News reporter Christina DeMores joins us live in studio tonight. Christina, you were in Hamden County to see all the rivalries and matchups there. That's right, Kaylee. I was in West Springfield earlier today to see the Terriers take on the Aguam Brownies. Westside hosted Aguam in this year's game. The Terriers were 7-2 going into their game on Thanksgiving Day, and they took another win this morning with the final score 37-20 West Springfield. I have never missed an Aguam Westside football game since 1961. That's my record. I'll keep on coming just as long as I can. The West Springfield Marching Terriers and Rock Band also took the limelight today with a rock inspired halftime performance. They are currently entered in the inaugural Metallica Marching Band competition. And if they win the fan favorite category, they could win $10,000 worth of equipment. And you can support the Marching Terriers by texting vote hashtag HSW Springfield to the number on your screen. And you can also find that information on our website, WWLP.com. Working for you tonight, Christina Demores, 22 News. All right, thank you, Christina. And Thanksgiving football is a time honored tradition across Western Massachusetts, and no one has been doing it longer than Apple High School and Mahar Regional. These Franklin County rivals have faced off on Thanksgiving Day all the way back since 1894. This year's edition, another classic. Both teams trading early touchdowns, Athol hoping to make it a season sweep over their rivals. Even in their second meeting of the year, fans returning to their hometown to witness this longtime rivalry. I've been coming to every game since 1963. I've never missed a Turkey Day game since. Because of Athol and Orange, a lot of us were friends with each other. I still know a lot of people down here, even though I live in New Hampshire now. But. We love the dedication, and in the end, Athol won this one. Final score was 40 to 8. And continuing with more of our Thanksgiving sports coverage, the East Hampton Eagles played against the Northampton Blue Devils today. And 22 News reporter Kara Smith joins us live in the studio with the results of that game. Kaylee, the East Hampton Eagles lost 14 to 18 today and the Northampton Blue Devils won. Northampton's Michael Norris scored a touchdown with just a few seconds left in the game. This comes after his teammate Marty Maslowski passed him the ball. At last year's Thanksgiving game, the Blue Devils took home the win against the Eagles with a final score of 41 to 14. Julia from Holyoke said she came to the Thanksgiving football game to watch her nephew play. It's his last football game. He's going to college for baseball in September, so it's exciting for the family. Both of these teams came ready to play some football, and many of their families and alumni were right there on the bleachers and along the gate to support them. Working for you live, Kiara Smith, 22 News. 